Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and I'm with my buddy. Okay, my buddy David from Papa Dan's Beef Jerky. Hey, guys. Hey, we're doing lunch today, right? Yep. Okay, now, what is this area we're in? Well, this is all down. This is all downtown Brea. Uh -huh. At one point in time, this whole section right here was like the oldest, the oldest street in Brea. And all the streets were all aligned with really, really old buildings, like from the 1920s and things like that. Right. And then they went through here and they really ripped out all the buildings and then they, they transported those businesses in other parts of the city of Brea and they built this Brea downtown. And it's been quite a while now, but it's had a lot, a lot of revamps since then. Right. This is the Bird. This is what they call the Bird Street Promenade. Right. And um, it's just lined with restaurants and shops, and um, the melting pots down over there. Oh, melting pots down there? Yeah, that's a whole uh, fondue restaurant where you right. just actually they, you cook everything at the table and so forth. And then I noticed this Bruxy's. This new? Yeah, that's new. That's the uh, gourmet waffle. You might have heard of it. Um, yeah, we reviewed it. It was okay, but yeah. we'll have to try it again. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely different. It's something that's an acquired an acquired taste, I guess. Um, the Edward Cinema, and, right. then, and then of course this place right here is actually really cool. We need to come here sometime. What is this it's, called? This is Cha Cha's tequila, uh, tequilas and tacos. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. And uh, a tacos buddy of mine, uh, Don Meyer, who used to be part of the, the Catch Restaurant, right? And I used to work at the Summit House. Oh he yeah. He actually owns this owns this restaurant, and it's really good. It's a real new take on on on, on Mexican cuisine and things like that. It's just really and then we're going to the place at the very end, right? Yeah, we're going. <laughs> We are going to, as if, if most of you guys remember, well, I don't know how old, we, how old we're dating ourselves now, but when I was a kid, there was a place called Farrell's, and they used to be all over the place, and when I was really young, and we, we, would, uh, we would go there for our birthday because they had this thing called a pig's trough. Right. And it was the world's biggest ice cream you'd ever seen in your whole entire life. And of course, you were like seven years old when you went in there, right? Right. They had these straw hats and big, you know, big drum sets. I remember that. I remember that. Around the whole yep. entire restaurant. Kind of a cool Did thing. Did you ever eat one? The whole thing? Uh, I don't know if I ate the whole thing, but... Are you, are you going to try today? I, oh, God, no. Come on, dude. I don't know about that, man. This, 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 this stomach doesn't need to uh, expand that. I'm definitely going to have some kind <laughs> of dessert. You look good. Don't even worry about it. I'm look at you. I'm definitely going to have some kind of dessert. It's kind of like a take, uh, a take back, I think, to both of our childhoods, in a sense. And right, right. Because they, they disappeared for probably about 30 years, and then just all of a sudden just show up again. So, so we're talking Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor. We're talking Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor, and it's uh, a little bit more than that because they have food and a full there restaurant. It is. But Oh, here it is. And look, they have a walk-up? Yeah. Is this I, a walk-up area? Well, they have a, they have a whole, this is a, actually a section for general seating, but they have a takeout, I guess, right up here. Right. I, I haven't really seen Oh, hold on. Before. I want to see this. Yeah. Hold on, let me walk over here. See if I can get out of the. How you doing? All right, so uh, looks like he's making ice cream right now. That's what it looks like. Nice, very cool. Waffle cones. Waffle cones, and they're famous for their ice cream, of course. How you doing? There it is. There's the old uh, logo, Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor. <laughs> this is very, uh, very old style. You can see this is what it looks like. We're gonna come in. They're wearing the old-fashioned hats. What was it, from the 40s, I think? The theme's from the 40s? It's a pretty big place, and you can see it's got an old old feel, and they got the old sodas and the candies. They got a little shop right here. Cotton candy, very cool. They got tons of stuff. Hello, sir. Hi, do you mind if I film you? Oh, well, totally. No, okay. And who are you? I'm Nate. I'm a host. Nate, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm doing a video on this place. Awesome. For YouTube. It's uh, Jack on the Go Show. Awesome. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what can you tell us about Farrell's and weren't you guys gone? Yes. Uh, what had happened was it uh, got bought out by a corporation. Of course. Always and, does, doesn't yeah, it? <laughs> and it didn't do so well afterwards. Right. And so it, it did die away. For the longest time, I think uh, the San Francisco uh, or San Diego Farrells was like the only one open. Ah! There we go. Okay. There we, go. we got a birthday going and on. And we got a birthday? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. So, well, sorry I had to stop for that birthday thing. It's perfectly fine. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was cool. Awesome. I, it reminds me of when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, so now then, when, how long have you been here? Um, we opened up this specific location on the 26th of December. Oh, okay. So we're still fairly new. We're uh, one of the newer uh, barrels that opened up. We have four locations now. Uh, Mission Viejo, Santa Clarita, Brea, and Rancho Cucamonga. Um, we're hoping to come back in strength. What had happened was uh, Bob Farrell, the original owner, went back to right. court and got the name back. He, so, sued, he fought for the name. Yep. And so he nice. got the name back. His own name. Him. Yeah, His know, own right? name, I know. <laughs> Good for him. Um, I'm still so, trying to get Jack back. I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay, now once again, this is how they had a bunch of these barrels when we were kids. So David and I are kind of reliving our childhood here. America's number one ice cream parlor restaurant since 1963. You gotta love it. All right, and then they lay this down. It's like a placemat, but it's also a really big menu. I'll film yours. Look at it, it's like a newspaper. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Wow. It's huge, guys. You gotta check this place out. So they do hamburgers, they do sandwiches. I wonder what the prices are on these sandwiches. Let's see here. Philly cheesesteak. What are you looking about? Uh, it's like 10 bucks on salads. So the sandwiches are about yeah, $10 each? Yeah, about 10 bucks. $10 for salad, $10 for sandwich. Hey, I don't think in 1963 they had a portobello veggie burger. What do you think? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there was any portobello veggie burger. Of course, it was a Aloha burger. I don't know there wouldn't be a Aloha burger. Were there tree huggers in 1963? Maybe, yeah, I think there were tree huggers. I think there was one. Swiss Family Robinson, that was about it. It's a gastronomical delicatessen picturine. Delight. Curian. Curian. Oh, the Curian, sorry. Wow. I, well, what is it? It's a corned beef and, uh, and stacked ham and roasted turkey sandwich with Swiss cheese, lettuce, nice. ripe tomatoes, sliced onions, Italian dressing on a okay, roll. Okay, that, thing, that thing's got to be huge. Probably is. All right, whatever that is, I'm getting it. Okay, and by the way, all you birthday people, uh, I just want you to see... On your birthday, the Sunday is on. It's free on the house, so check that out. If it's your birthday, come to Farrell's. Dollar. Where is that? A dollar. Okay, dude. Here's the original menu. They have it on the wall. Ham and cheese stack at the dollar ninety-five. Tantalizing turkey. Where's your? Uh... Yeah, old old-fashioned grilled cheese. A buck. One dollar for grilled cheese. Wow. What is it that I'm ordering? Hey, there's that gastro yeah, tele, they... whatever Picurian delight. Hey, at the it was three dollars and ninety-five cents back then. Yeah, dude, I'm paying uh, twice that. Three, three times, times that. that. <laughs> Hold on a minute, I get to film right now. And what is your name? My name's Chanel. I'm never get failed. Chanel. Okay, Chanel. Uh, what is? How's the gastro sandwich? Oh, the gastro is amazing. You get it hot or cold. Hot or like cold? Hot. You like it hot? Like it. Oh boy, we're we gonna get comments on that one, aren't we? Okay. okay so. I like it cold. All right. Yeah. No. No. Too late. Sorry. Too late. Okay. Now, now, forgive me, but that's a sarsaparilla, right? Sarsaparilla, the original root beer. Now they made they made that here, right? They actually made it. The, they have a soda fountain area over there where they actually make their own sodas. All right, you gonna give it a try? I'm gonna give it a try. That's a, we had to wait for that to be made. How crazy is that? Oh my god! Really? Yeah. That good, yeah, huh? That good. It's not like A and W. Trust me. Like a ten out of ten. Oh my god! For, yeah, for a soda. Yeah. Hell yeah! I don't like. Soda. Wow. And that is, that right there, that's the famous trough. If you, if, look at that, can I get a real shot? Look at how beautiful that is. It's absolutely gorgeous, so, yeah, nice. And you can get that anytime you come here to Farrell's. That's huge. Now, do you still get a ribbon if you eat all that? You still get a ribbon, huh? Do you guys have ribbons? Oh my gosh. Okay, there it is, the trough. Okay, the fun continues. I gotta tell you, this is a great video. I'm loving this one. Okay, so I got the onion straws. Yep. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it looks like they they used red onion. Do you see that? It is red onion, yeah. That's red onion. I've never seen red onion straws. Wow. Oh, you can take a bite of yours? Sorry. Oh, no, it's, it's all good. Don't mind the light in your eyes. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I gotta do it with the it's fork. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah, I got to do it with the fork. It's going to fall apart. All right, let me show them my, the sandwich real quick. You got it. This is the sandwich I got. Look how, look how big that is. They even, it even came with a song when they brought it out. Yes, they sang a song when they brought it to my table. Is that gorgeous or what? What's that? Corned beef, turkey, ham, Swiss. All right. Are you go. ready? Yep. Wow, there are parties everywhere here. Good pizza, yes. Is that good pizza? Yes. Really? All right. Well, we're going to rate this after we're done, okay? Wow, that is, at, look at that. Loaded, 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 loaded. Okay, 
This place is the noisiest place. We'll be ready for noise. All right, I gotta tell you, the sound was great. The best part. Oh, hold on, man. Hold on, man. <laughs> the corn beef's good. It's all good. More noise coming. Oh. Here we go, ready? These are the red onion frogs. Mm. Okay, way better, way sweeter, way good. Red onion frogs and barrels. Never had them anywhere else. Awesome. Okay, so as you know, we do a scale of one to ten. Your pizza was amazing, dude. Yeah, the pizza was fantastic. Was really, really good. I mean, um, I, I, nine out of ten, perhaps pushing a ten. Really, really good. Really? Yeah. So, uh, you thought the pricing was good? The pricing was fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. For a place like this, where you yeah. got birthdays, anniversaries, yeah, you got and entertainment. You got entertainment value this year too. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. Nine out of ten. I'd give it a ten out of ten. Um, but it, it's it's not a place you're gonna go all the time. You're gonna go for birthdays, anniversaries, great entertainment, a lot of fun. Your whole family will love it. The food, top notch quality. The uh, cold cuts were amazing. They were like really fresh. His pizza was better than like macaroni grill pizza. It was awesome. So I will see you on the next episode. We're giving it nine out of ten stars. It's Farrell's and it's downtown Brea. And I'll see you on the next track on the go. Take care. Okay, so I'm walking out of the restaurant and David's cracking up, and I'm like, what? What's so funny, dude? He's like, you'll find out, you'll find out. I'm like, what? So my waitress played a little joke on me, all right? My waitress thought it was funny to put something on my back, and I didn't even know it. So let me step back and show you exactly. Can you see the balloon? See? And I'm walking, I'm walking out of the restaurant with a balloon on my back, and I don't even know it. So, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. I'll see you guys later.